Most of those there would have called themselves patriots. That don't tread on me flag was an early symbol of the American Revolution, who argued that their government today is betraying traditional principles. Steve Butler, a physician from Indiana, was handing out copies of the Constitution. If you read the quotes of Thomas Jefferson, these guys were conservatives, and they said that the control should be with the people and not with the big government. Ileana Johnson came to America from Romania some 30 years ago. I find myself now, every morning when I wake up, what kind of freedom have we lost today? You could also find plenty of signs of something else, a rage that identifies President Obama with Hitler or Stalin, that questions his citizenship, that seems to celebrate the death of a famous liberal, and among the main currents of the protesters here, a conviction that the media, Fox News and talk radio accepted, are deliberately concealing the truth. Yeah, they're blocking it out. I mean, we know it. Everybody knows it. You see these people back here? They all know there's something happening, but the mainstream media, they don't tell us. It's a charge of bias the networks vigorously deny. It's your freedom! But perhaps what most united these protesters was a broader discontent, a sense that they are not being heard that their interests and the nation's interests are in the hands of a few. Don Newman came up from Texas. It's all the good old boy network, you know, where they don't care what we think. You know, they're gonna, everybody's in everybody's bed, you know, and everybody's pocket. And it's who's got the most money. It's all about greed and power. And the real question is what this populist anger may mean politically. Does it help or hurt either party? That's what we're going to take a good look at this Sunday on Sunday morning, Katie. And Jeff, what about claims that some of the anger directed at the president is somehow fueled by racism? I can only tell you what I saw, and painting a crowd like this with a broad brush is always a mistake. Most of these people, even the virulent Obama haters, talk about his liberalism, his leftism, his socialist or even communist tendencies. I also think if his name was Colin Powell, and if, if he had come from, say, a small town with a career in the military, in other words, a more traditional background, you would have seen a lot less talk about racism, disentangling race from things like culture uh, and political ideology is always very tricky. All right. Jeff Greenfield, Jeff, thanks very much.